Today, I'm announcing actions to bar migrants who cross our southern border unlawfully from receiving asylum. Migrants will be restricted from receiving asylum at our southern border unless they seek it after entering through an established lawful process. And those who seek to come to the United States legally, for example, by making an appointment and coming to a port of entry, asylum will still be available to them, still available. But if an individual chooses not to use our legal pathways, if they choose to come without permission and against the law, they'll be restricted from receiving asylum and staying in the United States. This action will help us to gain control of our border, restore order into the process. This ban will remain in place until the number of people trying to enter illegally is reduced to a level that our system can effectively manage. We'll carry out this order consistent with all our responsibilities under international law, every one of them. In addition to this action, we recently made important reforms in our asylum system, more efficient and more secure reforms. The goal is to deliver decisions on asylum as quickly as possible. The quicker the decision, the quicker decision means that a migrant is less likely to pay a criminal smuggler thousands of dollars to take him on a dangerous journey, knowing that if, in fact, they move in the wrong direction, they return around quickly. And two weeks ago, the Department of Justice stated, started a new docket in the immigration courts to address cases where people who have recently crossed the border and make, can they make a decision within six months rather than six years, because that's what happens now. Additionally, the Department of Homeland Security has proposed new rules to allow federal law enforcement to more quickly remove asylum seekers that have criminal convictions remove them from the United States. My administration has also recently launched new efforts to go after criminal networks that profit from smuggling migrants to our border and incentivize people to give tips to law enforcement, to provide information that brings smugglers to justice. We're also sending additional federal prosecutors to hotspots along the border and prosecute individuals who break our immigration laws. One other critical step that we will be, will be taking, and that is made a huge difference. We continue to work closely with our Mexican neighbors instead of attacking Mexico. And it's worked. We built a strong partnership of trust between the Mexican President Lopez Obrador, and I'm going to do the same with the Mexican elect president who I spoke with yesterday. We've chosen to work together with Mexico as an equal partner, and the facts are clear. Due to the arrangements that I've reached with President Obrador, with a number of migrants coming and shared uh, to our shared border unlawfully in recent months, has dropped dramatically. But while these steps are important, they're not